Okay, guys, this is just such a brilliant idea. I remember when I think I was about 20 years old, so 22 years ago, telling you my age now, exactly. And an American friend of mine who I was living with at the time, very smart guy, now owns an electric Porsche Taycan. He told me, he said, you know what? It doesn't make sense that cars are driving around and we aren't recuperating the energy that we lose when we brake. We brake all the time. The friction creates heat and there's huge amounts of energy being wasted. Now, we know that internal combustion cars, almost all of them don't store that energy still today. EVs do, which is one of the big reasons why they are so much more efficient than internal combustion. Now, we're also losing a lot of energy, though, when we hit a bump, even tiny bumps, right? The suspension of your car is constantly working. So that actually does create heat and energy. And someone has worked out a way to store that energy. Now, EVs are amazing because we're not just storing energy now and we're not just improving energy efficiency in EVs through one mechanism. We're doing it through lots of, lots of different ways. Energy efficiency is improving from things like um, you know, better charging, uh, better heat dynamics with heat pumps, uh, better energy density in battery packs. We're looking at things like um, having cars be, drive lower when they're actually driving on freeway, so adaptive suspension. There's other technologies like making changes to mirrors, changing the shape of the car, having active airflow on the, you know, the actual body of the car. There's heaps and heaps of things. It's like, where do I start? Where do I stop? Okay, here's another one, another really, really cool one, seat belts, right? Having heated seat belts instead of actually having a heated seat. So heated seats are cheaper than heating your car, obviously, but then even cheaper again is a heated seat belt. So there's all these different things people are coming up with, really, really cool stuff. This is the latest addition, suspension that transfers the friction generated into the battery pack, stores it as additional energy storage. I have no idea, guys, how much energy storage you would actually get out of doing this or, you know, whether it's really a practical application. Someone who watches the channel, they sent me this video and there's a guy standing by himself at his stand in uh, obviously an EV show showing people his, um, his new product, which I've got to say, I'm a big fan of. I love this idea. Now, someone has said here in the comments, it's had thousands of likes on this um, TikTok video. Guys, I don't watch TikTok at all, so I know nothing about it. I'm way too old for the TikTok generation. <laughs> anyway, someone said here, well, what's an alternator for? This is completely pointless. Now, guys, I've since read through the comments on a video posted on this topic, and it seems like tens of thousands of people who watch this video of this guy showing his new engineering product, which is, I think, genius, just completely missed the point. I didn't realize this, this can happen. I, I forget the fact that some people are very, very stupid, um, especially if they're on TikTok, where this video was originally posted. And guys, the point of this device is damper in a suspension shock recovers wasted heat energy. So when the dampers compress, when the car goes over little bumps, constantly, constantly, always dampers compressing up and down, up and down, up and down, that creates obviously force, that force, can send extra energy back in to the battery. Um, I think he's completely missed the point, right? Yeah, we all know what an alternator is, mate. But the point is here, you know, if you improve energy efficiency of a vehicle in every way, you just keep on adding one thing, add another thing, add another thing, you know, remove the transmission, basically remove it. You know, having all those multiple steps in the transmission is less efficient. That's one of the great things about EVs, not having to have all that. There's so many things so many improvements you can have, right, in a vehicle. And this, in my opinion, is just another one, right? This is actually called a regenerative power system for suspension. And you know what? It might not work. And then again, it might. Maybe in 10, 20 years, we'll see many cars with this device and we'll go, hey, remember that dude standing by himself in a stand showing his product and no one paid any attention? Well, they should have been. Let me know what you think. Is this going to work? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.